let's take a look at this map. Just a second. Nope, I still have no idea what I'm looking at. Welcome to the weekend and welcome back to Gameplays Now. We're going to get right into it. We're also going to try to get this over with as fast as possible because this is my least favorite level, my least favorite course of Super Mario 64. It's down in the basement with uh, two other levels. The other two I really enjoy. I'm looking forward to getting to those. This one, not so much, but we got to get through it. It's called Hazy Maze Cave. And I guess the reason I really just don't like this level, uh, the, the title of this course should tell you a few things about it. Uh, it's a sequence of tunnels and mazes. It takes place in a cave. And it's hazy. It's not really hazy. Anyway, two of the three aspects of this title should be sending red flags. I realize other people might disagree with me, but if I had to pick a least favorite course, this is it. It's mostly due to the navigation. Uh, the layout of the map is just no good. It's so easy to get lost, and I realize it's probably the intent the designers of the game had. This one we're searching for, I don't know if you caught that, I was too busy complaining. It's the swimming beast in the cavern. We have to track down the lowest point within this level. I'm probably going the wrong way. Off to a great start. Um, and find this beast that I always say looks like the Pokemon Lapras. I'll show you why in a minute. We're actually going the right way. Uh, yeah. We're going to hitch a ride on the back of this beast. Man, I am just losing health. That's okay. We have the magic Mario water to heal us up, so let's do that. Swim around this little island, and you saw that star on the island. That's where we're headed. And there's Lapras. I think it actually has a name. Um, okay, so the only way we're going to get the star is by getting to the island. The only way we're going to get to the island is by hitching a ride on this thing's head. Ooh, first try. Usually that's really hard to do. And... Whichever way Mario is facing on the top of the head is the direction this beast will swim. So we have to be... Let's see. Come on, come on, come on. All right, cool. First star down. Six to go. That one wasn't so bad. There's a couple that are kind of easy, but... I guess the, oh boy, eight red coins already. I guess the stars themselves aren't that hard to do. It's just finding them. Usually they don't do the uh, eight red coin star this early in the course. That also means that we have to get our uh, 100 coin star. So we're going to become really familiar with the layout of the map on this level as we track down our hundo coins. I hear you, you silly little bat. Where are you? Come here. No? Okay. Lots of long jumps. Lots of boulders trying to smash you to bits. Thankfully, with the eight red coins, they're um, all in one room. So we're going to go ahead and track down as many coins as we can before then. We're going to go the exact same way we did for the last star. Sweet. Okay. I know there's a ring of coins on this island, so we're going to we're going to do the beast one more time. I guess what makes this course, and really this whole game, so aggravating is how spoiled the 
current generation of games has become. Um, what I mean by that is most, if not all, adventure action platformer games nowadays feature some sort of mini-map or hub, HUD, excuse me, heads-up display that give you some sense of direction of where you have to go. Um, I do kind of like the mystery in this game where it just gives you a clue right at the beginning of the level and then you have to figure it out based on the title of the level. Um, that said, there are some stars in this game that it's like, man, just give me an arrow and let me get to it. It's all good though. We'll get through it. Alright, what do we have? 27 coins. We have a little ways to go. It's okay. Alright. Let's go. That's the other thing too. It's it's super easy to die in this level. So when you're exploring for your 100 coins, there's no worse feeling than getting like 70, 80 coins and then making a stupid mistake or a bad jump. And then you gotta start it over. We're gonna hope for the best that that won't happen. Alright, so this is the room where the red coins are. We're not gonna... We're not gonna do it yet. There's another spot which I hope we can get out of once we get in. I know there's some stars down here. Uh, we'll take our chances. This, I guess this is where the haze is. Not a fan, because you lose health. This is where the haze and the maze factor comes in. There's some mystery doors. This is important. I'm not sure we can get our star without the blue coins. Um, get rid of these bats before we try it. I can't remember where the coins drop. We might just have to hit it and start hoofing it. Not that way, not that way. This way? Bummer. This could be bad. This could be really bad. Ooh. Hmm. So now the question is... Do we hope for the best that we can get the coins? I might die anyway, because I'm so low on health. I've got a hidden door here. Oh boy, oh boy, this is not good. 42 coins. And with the eight red coins, that'll give us another 16. I think there's some up here. There's, an, there's a star up here. It's gonna be super tempting to snag. It's right there. Ugh. Just want to grab it. You know what? Let's do that. Let's get this star. Because I'm going to forget how to get that one later. Um, I know we broke the traditional method, but really feel that we need to get those blue coins. And since the timer ran up and we got a whopping zero... I feel we would be wasting more time hunting down, like, 89 coins and missing out on the coins that we lost. This is a good spot to get coins. We'll start by going this way. Which means to do some more backtracking. Stick with us. I will ensure that you will hate this level as much as I do by the time we're done. Or at least you'll hate watching me play this level. This will be the level that I'll lose the few subscribers that I have. Ooh. Go. I see. Not good, not good, not good. Okay. Health us back up. Health us back down. I hate this level. Okay. There we go. 
Hopefully this is the last time we have to ride the beast. Because it is not fun coming down here just for, what, 10 coins? We will have to come back down here for, I think, one more, one more star. Um, but it's kind of a cool one, so that doesn't require this beast. Ugh. Come on. There we go. It's not even ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Yeesh. But we're a third of the way to our 100 coin power star. Alright. Let's go back up. Now, as we go back up, I do have one confession to make. Um, usually, before I start these videos, I like to make sure I know where I'm going to get to the course. Once I'm in the course, um, that's that's live. That's what we're doing right now. But more often than not, I'll make sure I know how to get to the, you know, painting or in this case the oil pool or whatever it is we jumped into. Now before I hit record, of course I found out what this level was. Um, but then I also saw that there was a toad. Sorry, I'm gonna pay attention here. Ooh, that was really close. Anyway, there's a toad right beside the oil pool that we jumped into, and I just had to see what he had to say, and he wound up giving me a star. Game automatically saves. It's not that special of a star to get, but in case you're wondering why this video started out with 42 instead of 41, that is why. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and get the coins from these spiders before going back down into the cave, to the hazy cave, just to give me a better idea of where we're at with quantity. Because um, the last thing I want to do is go down there. Uh, there's just two spiders. The last thing I want to do is go down there and... Uh, where are we going? This way. The last thing I want to do is go down there and miss out on the blue coins again and assume that it's okay. The other thing I could have done was get Metal Hat Mario, because then the haze does not hurt you. Hmm. Stupid maze, come on. Where are we going? Alright, so we went the way we just came from last time. Let's try going this way. Ah, I see one. I see two. I see three. Ah, okay, so there were more there. But I think this will be enough. Let's see what's through here. I think this is where we went before to get that last star. I believe. I'm going to go ahead and get these bat coins. Gonna go get the bad coins. Why are you trying to kill me? It's a little, uh, little play on, you know, the Batman thing. That one's free. Ooh, okay. Hmm. So we will be back here to get the star. We're not gonna get it. Uh, we're not gonna get the star. I am gonna get these coins, though. Boy, I can't really turn around. <laughs> I don't want to fall. I also don't want to get the star. Okay. Again, tempting, but this time, no star. There, I wanted to check. There's, there's a, another star up here. I just want to see if there's coins up there. I don't think there are. I'm not going to risk... Oh, man. Okay, going the wrong way. I 
have to go back this way. Okay. No, 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 no. <sighs> You've got to be kidding me. You see why I hate this level, right? This, this could take a while. the spider. Bash that spider. Get the spider. These coins. Move your head. Move your head. Thank you. These five. Get you. Coins, blue 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 coins
is the threat of falling. You won't die, but you have to get all the way back up here again. Oh, don't even think about it. You are the worst. We're okay. As long as I don't fall off this spot. Alright. Give me my star. And I think we have, what, three more stars to get? was painful. I knew going into this video um, I would not be at my best. Maybe not so much gameplay wise, but <laughs> just sheer attitude. I despise this level. Although the gameplay is not that good either. Metalhead Mario can move. Okay. This one we're going to unlock Metal Cat Mario provided I remember how to get to him. This is the, I think the only special cap, well this is the last special cap, so um, I think it's the only one that you get that's actually inside a level. It's like a bonus level inside a level instead of what we did with the last two where it was a hidden level somewhere in the castle. Now, I think the way you get to it is down here, maybe? Let's do a little Exploring. There's like a hidden ledge or something. Is that it? No, I think that's where we went before to get that that other star. Yep, there's the bats. So that's not the way. Let's try this way. Let's not die though. Goodness. That wouldn't be good. Come on, Mario. There you go. Alright, let's see what is in door number two. Door number two, we have... Ah, I was here before, wasn't I? I'll tell you what, though. If this is the one that I think it is, which we've been to already, I'm going to go ahead and grab this star. I do... Oh, wait. That's the one I already got. So, maybe that first... This level should not be this confusing, but it is. There is a hidden area, which I thought was in the hazy maze of the cave. Oh, I am all out of sorts. Is it here? No, of course not. There's a dead end there. Sin, shy guy. Whatever you are. Don't think that's it. Now this takes us back out to the spot we got our eight red coins. Even if we can find that first door. Boy, oh boy. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of these blue coins. Uh, I can swing this camera. So we need some health. That'll help. Alright, so this was the one that I thought led us to the star that we've already gotten, but it's not. This one takes us up to a different star. It's okay. We'll knock this one out and then get middle cap. If I don't fall, that's a very real possibility. The 22-year-old uh, gameplay mechanics could work against me here. Don't 
watch you fall. Alright. We're gonna go ahead and grab that one. Which leaves us with two more. The Metal Cap one and... Um, I think it's one that involves wall jumping near those boulders. Which is supposed to be the last one. Let's take a look at this map in just a second. Nope, I still have no idea what I'm looking at. Alright, here's what we're going to do. Since we've totally botched up this entire level. By we, I mean me. Not blaming you, the viewer. Although, no, I'm just kidding. We're going to go ahead and grab this hidden star. This was a fun one the first time I ever played this game because I had no idea this was here. But, see some wall kicks. There's your star. Is there anything ever here? No. We just have to find Metal Cap Mario and then we're set. So I think the way we get to the Metal Cap Mario Switch, not by ground pounding, is by going back down to the lake at the bottom of the cave after we get run over twice. Let's not make it three times. We're so close to finishing this one. I believe we're going to find it down here. I know I told you before that we wouldn't have to use the beast again. But I told you a lot of things about this level and man, my head is literally hurting right now because of how much I hate this level. Um, Alright. I think, yes, 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 yes. We're going to go through those double doors. And through those doors, we should get our third and final cap. Yep, alright. Level inside a level. Got a little Inception action going on in Mario 64. We get our metal cap, and I think, just like the other ones, there are eight red points to find here. Nothing we can't handle. Uh, we have to get into the water to get some of these. We're gonna wait until we flip the switch to get him, though. Just because this is a waterfall, and I believe the current is crazy quick. So if we fall in the water without the metal cap, I think it spits us out somewhere in the castle, I think. Somewhere crazy. Alright. We have activated our third and final cap, which is kind of cool. Alright. Four more coins. One. Two. Three, four, please stay metal. Excellent. Here we go. Cool. That gives us one final star in this just horrible, horrible level. On a brighter note, though, once we're done, which we will be soon, we will end with 50 stars. That is worth the price we had to pay to get through this. Maybe just once. Nope. I was going to say maybe just once we could make it up there without getting squished. It's all good, though. This should be 
This should be pretty quick. Last time down here. For real this time. Alright. Since we weigh a billion tons, we have the ability to walk at the bottom. Yes. Excellent. A couple long jumps and we are home free. Ooh. <laughs> that could have been bad. Alright, so as I was doing that metal cap, I think... If I remember correctly, we missed out on a star. Sweet. So that's telling us we can open another door. We're not going to do that yet, though. Anyway, I think... I could be wrong. I feel there was a... Ooh. I gotta get the bunny again. Not going to be as lucky as I was the first time. I think the best way to get the bunny is to trap him in here. Yeah, there we go. We'll get another star. We'll actually end this video with more than 50 stars. Alright, what I was going to say before the distraction of the bunny was that I think the first water level we played um, had a star that you can only get with a metal cap. Let's, let's just check that out real quick. Let's check that out real quick. Oh, the easier way to do that is just to, when you're in the castle, if you press the uh, start button, you can go through each of your levels to see your star count. Jolly Roger Bay. We are missing a star at Jolly Roger Bay. So let's just knock that out. Then we will have all of the first floor stars truly completed, I think. Alright, which one is this? Okay. This one shouldn't be too bad. Um, as you can see, the metal cap switches are now activated. Go us. We're not going to get that first one, though. We're going to get the one that's... I think there's one up here. Or this way. Yeah. And we're going to get the last star of this course. I have to be quick, though. Because you do move slow in the water, and the star is, like, right at the bottom. Let's see if we can get lucky. Got it. Sweet. Alright, so that's going to do it for us uh, today. Uh, I thank you for, if, if you've hung around this long and had the patience to tolerate my horrible gaming abilities in Hazy Maze Cave. If you stuck around, thank you. Um, again, if you like these videos, please give me a subscribe. Um, share the video too or share other videos on this channel. Uh, we're starting a another channel. Like I said last week, I wanted to dive into some more videos. Uh, we have a PUBG channel that's uh, started. Uh, not maybe as kid-friendly as Mario 64, but uh, you definitely want to check it out. It's a fun one. Anyway, until next time, uh, I'll see you next time. That sounded weird. I'll just say bye. Or see ya. Thank you.